Hey guys, so yeah, um, as you would know, I did a bit of dusting this um, weekend. I had work um, in the afternoon today, which is why I didn't get around to posting this sooner. But yeah, I counted and including the ones that I've still got boxed up that I haven't displayed, I probably have about 2.30. So yeah, I've got a lot a lot of pieces. Sideshow and Hot Toys and Metacom. So yeah, I um, just thought I'd give you a quick tour of the updated um, display. I moved all my um, Pirates and Metacom stuff to um, when you first walk in. Now I've got Arnie, Sarah Connor, Baby Doll, Ben Hell saying, yeah, sorry for it being a bit dark. A um, couple of Planet of the Apes, and I've got my Indiana Jones stuff there. Ezio. And I've got all my Marvel stuff. So we've got Odin, Loki, Shatari, and Wolverine. Yeah, it's real dark in this one. But yeah, we pretty much have like all the S.H.I.E.L.D. guys. Widow. Cap, Winter Soldier, and um, added Spidey and Wolverine there as well. Um, have a bit more space for when Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver and all that come out, and Ultron, but um, there I've got Mandarin and Red Skull, and there I've got my three Iron Man figures and Hulk, and I've got War Machine Mark II still in the box. Um, DX Battle Damage Luke. Just showed you guys Yoda's heart. Um, then this side I moved all the DC villains across. So we got um, those guys there. Then we've got my Lord of the Rings in that shelf. You can't really s you can just see Witch King's helmet, Gothmog, and a few other characters there in Blade. Then down there we have um, my Enter Bay. Men in Black, and my X-Files stuff, and uh, P.S. Brosnan. Um, Hasbro speeder bikes, and a few other bits and pieces. It's a bit glary on this side. But, um, vintage Boba Fett, you can just see in the corner there. And um, my Nolan stuff and I've got um Batgirl and Rorschach. Um then there's my Jabba the Hutt stuff. I didn't move any of this around. I um just kept all that where it was because it's the only real place to put them. I've got a fair few Hasbro troopers around the back wall there and there's my um Jewback, both Hasbro and Sideshow one and my um Sideshow Sandies, and I've also got a very old Predator. And uh, where all my Marvel and Lord of the Rings and all that was is now just virtually a wall of Star Wars now. So I've got uh, Rebels. Jedi Knight. Um... I do have the Big Chief stuff here, just because it was the only real spot to put them in. I've got Billy the Kid and White Earp, which is on the other cantina environment. But yeah, I've got Doctor, Sherlock Holmes and Watson. And then um, I've got the Rebel Troopers there. And I added um, Roadblock to the back there, because um, Dwayne's dressed in... Same type of cameo gear as the Andor guys, so I thought that was cool. And Lando. And the clone tour begins. <laughs> yeah, I've got all of them. Um, there's my custom figure. Jammin. Um, who I put in a Jedi robe. Yeah, the Phase 1 guys and the two deluxe, shiny and veteran. And a Hasbro officer. 
Bakara, Siege Trooper, Wolf and Wolf Pack. I left two spots at the back there for the Bomb Squad Trooper and um, maybe Cad Bane, but I'll probably put Cad Bane in with Jabba's stuff, so. Um, yeah. Neo. 41st. Angry. Um, left spot for the Biker Scout. And um, hopefully, maybe we'll get a couple more troopers, whatnot. And um, Ed 209's there, and I left a little spot for Robocop next to him. Because Icon has delayed Robocop, so not sure when I'll get the text message for him. Oh, I left um, with the Nolan stuff, there was a gap there. I'm getting the Armory. Thank you to Anime Exchange for that one. It's quite a good price, better than Icon's price anyway. Oh, Pop Culture's price. Um, 212. Got Cody holding up, help team. Hoff set. Would not have completed the Hoff set if it wasn't for Greg. Picked up his cannon and a second snowtrooper. So, um, huge thank you for that one. Got an empty shelf for episode 7. Yay! Hot Toys is gonna kill my wallet even more. Um, Harlock and the Cantina Band. Because I didn't have enough room to keep them with Jabba's Palace, and I thought, oh, why not? Harlock's a pirate. Scum and villainy. So, keep them all together. Um, I bought, I went crazy when, um, my work, when Wool Woolies, where I work, did three Stormies for 15. So I bought three Hasbro Stormtroopers and the animated one. So um, those guys, they are just the normal five point Hasbro articulated ones. Um, then I've got side the two Sideshow Stormies and the Marmot Stormy. Uh, 501st. Later in the year, we'll be able to swap out the Phase 1 Echo and 5s for the Phase 2, and I've got the Lieutenant. I keep him with the Fargo first because the blue is practically the same. And yeah, two more empty shelves there for God knows what else comes out. Now, I've actually, I've moved, every time I've rearranged my cabinets, I've moved this shelf so many times. I had like Malgus and Maul together. And the Royal Guards and that, but I actually really like it the way it is now. All I finally got a setup where I had all my Sith, except for Ventress, in one spot. And I put um, Kellis and the Inquisitor there. If we got a Tarkin and a Dooku, I reckon this would be like my favourite shelf. Just because you would have. Peter Cushing, Ian McDiarmid, David Prowse, Christopher Lee, all on one shelf, and Ray Park and Malgus. Be ridiculous. Um, I haven't, I didn't make room for the Hot Toy Shadow, but that's okay because I can move Piet over. With the, with the other Stormies, um, when I get him. So I've got Thrawn, the Shadow Troopers. That Shadow Trooper there is a, um, the five point target exclusive one. And I've got Pradji in the Coruscant Guard. And then I've got Ventress and all my battle droids. And then I've got two Staps, cause I bought one from Pop when they first came out. I got it discounted at Supernova. And it actually had a production fault. And I wanted to mail, like tell Sideshow about the fault. But I figured they wouldn't they wouldn't do anything about it. And I couldn't prove to Pop that I'd bought it at Supernova because they don't give you Supernova receipts. So I um bought one when it was on gift card eligible when it was gift card eligible. Then I told Sideshow that the one they had sent me had the fault, so yeah, I got two good ones. So, yeah. Then, um, Grievous. 
Yeah, I don't have the Holodooku droid yet. Um, I'm waiting for it to either go gift card eligible, and if it doesn't, then I'll just get it from Anime Exchange, because they've got a pretty good price on it. So yeah, um, thanks for seeing my new setup, guys. And I'll keep sharing when um, my new stuff comes in.